kiddo. This video is part 2 of a series and it'll have spoilers for part 1, so if you haven't seen part 1 yet, please watch it first. Anyway, remember that baby that ended up dead in my time travel video from last year? Unfortunately, he came back as a zombie, and well, he's not too happy with us. I'm so mad you guys killed me, but I sure hope I didn't die for fucking nothing. At the very least, could you donate my body to science? Sure thing. Let's scientifically analyze the video that killed you. So, viewers. You're probably gonna want a refresher for that year-old video, right? Well, I told viewers when to press J or L to warp forward or backward 10 seconds. Don't forget the part where he kills me. Sorry, baby. Anyway, I really like the diagrams that we 50 and others made to track viewers' progress through the video, and I confirmed with them that it was okay to share those diagrams here. Wanna know how I did it? I just typed the script into a Google spreadsheet with around 200 rows, where each row represents one second. An L press sends you forward so it looks like this, and a J press sends you backward so it looks like this. You can see it took me three attempts to get this video script to work, and let's just Say, I'm glad I didn't go with the second one. Now if I just wrote my main script from top to bottom, my job wouldn't be over. Why? Because there's also that secret message that reads bottom to top. If you press J every half second, you'll hear it. So every 9.5 rows of the forward script, we have to include one word of the backward script. These words have to play two roles. Fortunately, the words to Rick Astley's song are pretty common, so I was relieved. I wrote these double purpose words in all caps and then it just became a puzzle. For example, say your choices are, I will time freeze the baby, and I'm gonna time freeze the baby. Both have the same meaning, so we could use either, but the backward script also requires us to use the word gonna, so that seals the deal for us. In short, I just had to experiment with different sentence formats 20 times and I was done. Now let me show you the finished timeline with the player's intended journey in navy blue. After 55 seconds of explaining, I had you perform your first L press, which looks like this. If you followed my orders, you shouldn't have witnessed anything in the gap but some of you did anyway. Next, I had you do an LJL press to toy around with the baby's age so he could legally drink vodka from his glass. Be warned, J presses can easily cause infinite loops. It takes an L press on either side to prevent that. Well, that last L press killed me. Think about all of my hopes and dreams crushed. Well, you still got to live 98 years. We just didn't get to witness it. Whatever. Anyway, this next stunt, even top time-traveling students of prestigious time-traveling schools struggle with it. What stunt am I talking about? That's right, the universally hated overlapping timelines. By some stroke of luck though, a good portion of you viewers out there executed it perfectly. Dang, I'm impressed. Congratulations! I don't want to repeat myself too many times, so I'll just show the diagram here. It should explain itself. Do you want to know the thing I love most about overlap timelines? If you followed directions correctly, you should have traversed 205 to 07 three times. The only way you know how to take action differently each time is the context, and only the context. My previous messages changed the meaning of the it. Wait, you have to be kidding me. Some of you forgot to ignore my animatronic clone and got stuck in an infinite loop? Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Anyway, next on my list of stunts was the grand finale, which, to my surprise, made some of you want to go on a killing spree. So I should probably write an obituary to the people you killed. To clarify, yes, I asked you to repeatedly press J every time the dot hit the wall, which ends up being a little prank we like to call a rickroll. The timing's tricky to get just right, so if you had trouble, Turbell's video will do all the work for you. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, I'm never gonna run around and desert you. Apologies from me for playing a 13 year old prank on you viewers. I promise I won't do anything like that ever again. But enough of that diagram. I know what you guys really care about, the audience retention graph. So if everyone followed orders exactly correctly, then every line here should account for 100%, giving us this graph. When I say boop, I'll show the actual graph. Drumroll please. Boop. Ew, gross. It's so inaccurate. 
<sighs> Don't worry, I'm just joking. In all honesty, I'm really impressed with how visible the Rick Rolling Hills are. They're 9.5 seconds apart, and their height means that roughly 420,000 people participated in the fun! I've also never seen retention higher than 200% for a video longer than a minute. Now I'd like to point out that the baby's death had really low retention, which is just disrespectful to baby. He dies, so you decide to look away? Despicable. In other news, I think it's really cool that during the gaps I told you to skip over, you can see a noticeable divot. This one's U-shaped as expected, but I can't find a reason for why this one would be double U-shaped. You're seriously gonna- Oh right, it did have a reason. I had to send you guys there to Rickroll you. <laughs> also, there's no reason this region should be above 100%. Overall, I think this video project was so much fun! I expected it to take a lot of work, but because it was 5 times shorter than my average video, animating it was actually a breeze. And if I'm not mistaken, it's the first video on YouTube to use time travel so extensively. If you participated in this YouTube experiment, thanks for playing along. Wait, what is that? Oh my god, I'm getting a phone call saying you have to press J every time these two green lights touch until you reach the beginning. Three, two, one, go! Alright, so if you followed my orders, you should have never gotten here, so shame on you and your whole family. But I also want to say thanks to Turbell for making the guided tour version of the video, since there are some people out there too lazy to do it the real way. Also, if you want to make one of these time travel videos yourself, go ahead. And thirdly, I realize it's possible to jump 10 seconds forward or backward on mobile by double tapping on the screen, but it's much harder to time it exactly, and the specifics can vary from device to device and OS to OS. So to keep things simple, that's why I didn't mention it in my first time travel video. Finally, I also want to play the original video in its entirety alongside the audience retention graph, so those of you who are super curious about each spike can see what happened there. Ready? Okay, roll the clip. You want to learn how to time travel, I can sense it. Well, I've been time traveling for years, but you look too inexperienced. Sorry, kiddo. Hold up, this restaurant's dessert has been poisoned, and a baby is crawling to go eat it! Well... A precious life is on the line, and I'll need an assistant to save it, so it's your lucky day. I'll teach you how to time travel. First rule, don't do anything until the clock says it's time. The clock doesn't mess around. So here goes. If you're watching this video on a computer, pressing J or L will warp you 10 seconds backward or forward in time. Oh god, since when did this baby know how to run? Anyway, if you're instead watching on your phone, sorry, this effect isn't gonna work. Come back when you have access to a computer. The baby's getting close, so we need to act now. I'm gonna time freeze the baby, and you will warp forward the cake's age. Three, two, one. One, go! You never listen to me. Well, inexplicable rift in space-time happening in three, two, one. Whoa! Baby doesn't want to chow down on the now rotten, smelly cake? We saved its life! Oh, the baby wants to drink vodka now. That's no good, the legal age is 21. I think you've learned enough, I'll leave this one up to you. Hopefully you never see this, carry is though. Perfect, he's 22 and is enjoying the booze. Yikes, now he's hungover. Let's warp him out of it. Crap, now the baby's 50, too old to party. We gotta warp backward. You're seriously gonna disobey me again? He is dead. What a tragedy. Tis the fate of a time traveler to witness every youngster die of old age. Second rule, never become attached to the children you assist. That being said, you've made good progress. But there's one last skill I want to teach you. Overlapping timelines. Buckle up. Press L. Nice one! You're doing well. I'm gonna get some coffee. Please ignore everything my animatronic clone says, you copycat. Now press it again. Thanks for ignoring the clone. One final command. Press L. Give J another press. Excellent job so far. Let's turn it around and press J. It's gonna be hard to top that flawless run. Out of hundreds of my students, nobody has performed overlap timelines as well as you just did. Use your newfound powers for good. Never use them for evil. Oh, and one last lesson. Press J every time you see this red dot hit the wall. Repeat that until you reach the beginning. Ready? Go. Ah!